10. Just talk about your race and then what happened there with the 21 there. Like. Yeah, I felt like we, from starting in the back, because we had a, a tire going down on pit road on the grid before the race, um, didn't really think that would set us back. We, we drove up to, I think, ninth on a lap and a half and then um, got a caution for the 54, pitted, um, went to the back and we get up to, I don't know, third, second, third, fourth row and just kind of stalled out there for the first and second stage, just couldn't really go anywhere. This package, I feel like, race is really good at Daytona, um, but it's, it's really hard to, to make moves here um, without track position. But, uh, you know, I thought we had a, a decent Bass Pro Shop Camaro. Um, not the worst, but not the best. Just kind of struggled with being loose all day. Um, I couldn't make nearly the moves and, and be aggressive on the wheel to, to go to the top or go to the bottom and, and um, you know, fill holes and whatnot. But that's no excuse that we put ourselves in position there um, under those green flag stops. The green flag stop was pretty badass to outbreak those guys and beat them to the start a pit road I thought that was pretty cool um, so executed a good race put ourselves in position to uh, to have a shot to win um, there with three to go was was making a move on the leader Austin Hill and uh, just kind of fell apart from there so um, we'll go back and learn and, and get better and just super proud of of our team um, we really wanted that fifth win in a row and had a shot at it like I said but uh, you know just just fell apart but it's just so grateful to be racing in the Xfinity Series there's so many badass drivers out here and so much fun that uh, you know we've had our, our good days I knew it would eventually come to a, an end but uh, we're gonna go to the Roval prepared and, and as confident as ever and try to go win that one. Is the role just gonna be fun because you've already locked in? No we, we want to go lead laps we want to we want to be as prepared as possible and, and go execute a good race obviously you want to have fun and try and have fun each and every day every day I'm on the racetrack and had a lot of fun today but um, yeah the, the main goal is to get into victory lane there. It's hard to tell with just two laps in qualifying there. Um, I'm sure it'll race a little bit different um, just based off of qualifying trim to race trim. But, um, you know, I really just want to do a good job for those guys and, um, you know, have a solid day for them, get good points, and um, hopefully get Alex back in the car next weekend. Congratulate Matt, right? Why so? Why was that important for you to go do that? I just think it's it's good for him. But um, I mean, ultimately, I'm I'm good buddies with his crew chief Chad, um, and I thought it's really cool. A small team like that, Willie Allen and, and uh, Rackley War, they they're late model guys. I mean, Willie Allen, he's a he's a late model racer, and for them to step up and come up to the truck series and have success, um, you know, in their second full-time year i think i don't know if they ran a full schedule last year but um it's it's pretty cool you know um talladega is one of those deals where um, it presents opportunity no matter what and those guys did a good job so i was super excited for them and really cool just to see uh you know chad after the race and um the excitement on all those guys races just being grassroots racers on the cup side have you guys had conversations about working together tomorrow all your teammates are in the playoffs I'm sure that'll come more tomorrow. Um, really, the goal is to. Greg said, I, I said, what's your plan? You, like, he's like, I'm gonna go out there and lead every lap, win every stage, and win the race. Obviously, that's way, way, way easier said than done. But, um, you know, we want to be aggressive all day and and stay out front and and get up there and, um, you know, contend for it at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's just definitely uh, the biggest opportunity I've ever had in my career. I mean, Hendrick Motorsports, that's that's the mecca of all, all racing teams. It's like Red Bull over in, in F1 or these big powerhouse teams. They're obviously got a great record, and um, to be a small part of it, um, it's definitely a great opportunity for myself, but really it's... Uh, it's about just doing a good job for them and, um, you know, just trying to get Alex back as soon as possible. How vital will this kind of experience be with multiple different teams in the Cup Series once you land with Petty GMS next season and it's a more consistent flow? I think it'll be good to, you know, I've, I've driven the 62 where we have one employee. Um, I've driven a colleague, tested it at Petty GMS, and now driving for 
one of the best teams, if not the best team. So um, that'll be a great experience. It'll be great to see how they operate and uh, execute. And you can kind of take different learning experiences from each and every one of those teams. And there's different challenges that present themselves with those each and every one of those teams. And um, to be able to have that experience of racing for a powerhouse like Hendrick Motorsports, it'll be a great opportunity for me and a great experience. Has Rick Hendrick or Dale Jr. talked to you about goals for tomorrow? Uh, no, not goals. Um, Mr. Hendrick called me after I got done at the shop and just talking to talking to him a little bit and he's like what are you thinking I'm like dude you got a a badass like shop like organization that you've built up and um you know it's it's a privilege to be able to to be able to work for them for for one race and um this weekend so uh with that being said it we didn't talk about goals. That was more with uh, Greg Ives, the crew chief, and, and the rest of the team. But um, I know he's really excited to see what we can do tomorrow and um, do a good job for Alex and his team. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.